Hello everyone, I'm Kristen Oaks-White. And I'm Avery Davidson. Thank you for joining us for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, the only TV show bringing Louisiana farmers and consumers together every week. And Kristen, we get to hook up with some of the consumers here in New Orleans at Miel Brewery and Tap Room, which is one of the up and coming microbreweries here in the city. We're going to show you a lot more from Miel later in the show, and we might even taste a little bit of it. But first, we need to tell you why we're in New Orleans to begin with. It's the 97th Annual Convention of the Louisiana Farm Bureau Federation, and it's the largest gathering of farmers and ranchers in the state. More than 1,000 farmers and ranchers and their families came to conferences for all of the Louisiana commodities, attend the youth events and awards, to see the crowning of the 2019 Louisiana Farm Bureau Queen, and hear the latest of what's going on in Louisiana agriculture. And you know, with so many people gathered in one place, especially energized voters like farmers and ranchers, you know that elected officials and those seeking office are going to want to come and mingle with those farmers and ranchers. In fact, Governor John Bell Edwards came here to speak before the general session, and U.S. Congressman Ralph Abraham also spoke before the voting delegates, both of them vying for the office of Louisiana governor. What farmers can and cannot do in this field is often determined by the men and women who work and vote in this building. That's why members of the Louisiana Farm Bureau Federation always invite elected officials to speak either before the 350 or so voting delegates or the nearly 500 members who gather for the general session. To say that ag and forestry is the backbone of Louisiana's economy is an absolute understatement. Louisiana Governor John Bell Edwards is running for re-election. He brought good news for these farmers and ranchers in response to a concern Edwards heard while visiting farms. Over the next three years, the state of Louisiana will invest $90 million more than the normal program on rural farm-to-market bridges. So we heard what you said. Edwards says that money will come from the $700 million infrastructure plan the legislature recently approved. Commissioner of Agriculture and Forestry Dr. Mike Strain is also running for re-election and spoke about infrastructure. Most notably, the dredging of the Mississippi River project included in President Donald Trump's infrastructure plan. This is a big deal, the largest capital investment in Louisiana history mostly federal dollars. Strain says that project will start in October. The first part of the project is going to be head of passes. We're going to dredge that down another five feet to at least 50 feet, and the next goal is 55, build 2,000 acres of wetlands. We're going to dredge the Mississippi River all the way to Baton Rouge to 50 feet. What does that mean? That means we can load those ships another five feet. That's a million dollars of cargo per ship. We've got your back. Louisiana 5th District Congressman Ralph Abraham is also running for governor. He brought an update to the $16 billion market facilitation program the USDA announced to help farmers across the country who are seeing depressed prices due to trade issues between the United States and China. Some of the MFP payment will come in July, some will come in September, and then some will come later in the fall. So something again we will watch closely, we will monitor, maybe some more relief for not only our far being, soybean farmers, but for our other crops too. So hopefully that's going to kind of come to fruition. Louisiana Farm Bureau President Ronnie Anderson says it's not unusual to find elected officials at the annual convention, especially in an election year like this one. They know that we have a presence in every parish. We have our uh, parish offices. We have our board of directors that are out there. We've got a group of people in Farm Bureau that vote. They're concerned about what's going on, and they just don't talk about issues. They, they will actually work on, you know, campaigns or for or against whatever might be going on, and they get out and vote. And that's, uh, that's what really makes us different than a lot of uh, other organizations that just talk about uh, complain or whatever it might be, and they, but our folks get out and vote. Now, Governor Edwards and Congressman Abraham were not the only gubernatorial candidates in attendance at the 97th Annual Convention of the Louisiana Farm Bureau. Eddie Rasponi, a businessman from Baton Rouge, was also there. He's running for governor, and he had a chance to meet with folks while they were at caucus. 